guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 of D4DJ First Mike, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's too quiet. Oh, there we go. Cody, I can't pick you up. <laughs> a bird gonna fly? I wouldn't even be surprised if one did. Oh. Is that Kyoko? Oh. That's so cute. Oh my god. Stop it. Like, mm -mm. But the fact is that we had to wait six weeks or six and a half, six and a half weeks for an episode that finally gets Peaky Peaky some more focus rather than less than 15 seconds. <laughs> because it really does feel like that. Mm-mm. 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 Did I charge my phone? No, I didn't. Oh my god. I mean, you would think we would know that, but because Rinko is so new into music, of course. Do you not like Christmas? <laughs> hmm? Yeah? Ma? Oh. <laughs> you 
right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. Ray as a reindeer. That would be so cute. <laughs> dog. Hey. Only Jen would literally take a picture of her abs, but okay. Oh, there you are. Then what exactly were you taking? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, hi. Huh. <laughs> oh, damn. That sucks. Or at least two? Rinku, where are you going? Eating your sorrows won't help. <laughs> Cody, it's just, it's a bottle. Kyoko. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes.
Well, I mean, they can always do a live and just live stream somewhere, like a park. But then they might get in trouble for that, so, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Here, you want to go lay on the bed? I think that's when she met Shinobu. Oh. oh, so it's like your anniversaries. Not even like it is. And eventually you found her. Oh, oh, baby, and that's how you met her. Oh, my God, you know, cute. <laughs> Of course, you can't actually help it. Excuse me. Mm Oh. That's so cute.
but Jesus. Well, damn, my hoe. <laughs> You know, the leader of PvP. Why, so you can scope the competition? Well, that too. W we serious? <laughs> Damn, she actually gonna do that. <laughs> Something tells me this is the version that's on the game officially now, because I literally just logged in like less than 30 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Something also tells me that just lit something on Maho's butt. I mean, I don't know if she could be a little jealous of what just happened. Maybe. I'm not sure because of the way it showed her. But, like, mm, who knows? And plus, now she's in the back, and I don't like that feeling right now. Yeah, she jealous. And or upset. Oh, Maho. Of course it was going to be like that. What else was it going to be? <sighs> Damn it. I didn't want that. Mm -mm. I'm glad that she performed with Peaky Peaky Hell. I'm glad that Peaky Peaky was the main freaking focus of this episode because they needed that ish. But I do hate this outcome. She She's upset. She's not, I wouldn't say jealous, but she is upset about this. I think it's very similar to with... Bandari season two and how Ote was playing with um Roz and everybody was thinking that Ote was gonna leave Roz like permanently and I was like oh my god if they do that I was like oh I don't know how to feel but then it didn't happen I just think right now Maho thinks that she won't be able to reach the potential that she wants not only set set up for herself also Rinku and the group entirely so I feel like she's going to say something next Friday when episode 8 comes out I'm not 100% sure about that but it seems like we're going that route because of course she is upset about it and anyone would be upset about that I'm a little bit jealous too but yeah, just seeing an episode about freaking Peaky Peaky. So freaking good. It gives me them feels, you know, when I had to wait for Rosalia. And then when Rosalia got the OVA. And that was literally the best freaking episode of Bendity Season 1. Besides, like, the last two episodes that made my butt cry. So freaking bad. Because I was hell of emotional around that time. But, yeah. I get why she feels that way. Oh. oh, yeah, this is going to lead into their first really big fight. I don't like that, but at the same time, I kind of do because they need this. This is the only way for them to, you know, to move forward and know that we ain't got to worry about any drama or BS coming towards them. But it's going to be good for them. They're all going to need a really good cry next week. And I, hell, I might even need it too. Who knows? <laughs> that would be a really nice Christmas present. But who, who even knows if they're going to really have episode 8 come out next week. They may have it come out next week and they may have it come out like the first week of um 2021. But I don't know. But yeah, this is going to be something that I think everybody watching the show is really going to need and such. I mean, we we haven't really... For Bunsity, I can't really think of a moment where... um. Kasumi and Arisa got into a really big huge fight and then they were crying about it except leading on to like season one and when they were trying to perform for the old lady I can think of that but I think that's when like I don't know if everybody cried and that makes you want to rewatch season one but I think this will be really good for them but other than that guys that is my reaction view choice episode seven of D4DJ first mix if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course 
I will see you guys officially uh, next Friday for episode 8. Or the following Friday for episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys officially all next time. Bye.